If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development, where I will be reviewing all of the books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we will keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is October 10th. 2021 and this is episode 39 and today we'll be reviewing the audible book the procrastinator's handbook mastering the art of doing it now by rita emmett this audible book will teach you how to stop procrastinating and do what you need to do when you need to do it whether you like it or not lessons on how to stop being a procrastinator Lesson number one, we procrastinate for one of two reasons. One, because we are overwhelmed. Two, because a project is unpleasant. Once you begin to conquer procrastination, the sky is the limit, the dread. The dread of doing a task takes up more energy than doing the task itself. Dreaders have absolutely no clue of how long it will take that which they dread to do to be completed. Dreaders always think that they do not have enough time to do that which they are dreading to do. If there is a task to be done, it really needs to be completed. Time yourself and dedicate yourself to complete the task in one hour without being distracted to do something else. If perhaps the task is not completed in a span of one hour on that day, the next day, dedicate another hour to complete that task. Lesson number two, you will find that what you dread most is not spending time and energy on the whole job, but simply getting started. No one has a life full of pleasantness, totally devoid of unpleasantness. Life will always be difficult. The day you say to yourself, I hate doing this, but I have to do it, so I might as well do it now and get it over with, you will free yourself from the guilt and stress caused by putting it off. When you have recreation, you are recreating yourself. You are recreating yourself physically, emotionally, or spiritually. Time wasted is existence. Time used is life. Lesson number three. The word procrastination comes from the Latin word crustinus, which means of tomorrow. Procrastinators are in favor of procrastinating or putting things off until tomorrow. People who do not procrastinate can be called anti-crastinators because they do not put things off until tomorrow. They do things now. Strive for excellence, but not perfection. Not making a decision is a decision in itself. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Try taking the first step to complete a task that needs to be done so that you do not procrastinate. Lesson number four, 12 tips for working effectively at your desk. Number one, write down your ideas. Do not trust your memory. The dullest pencil will always be sharper than the sharpest mind. Number two, set down a to-do list of your priorities before the start of each day's work. Number three, use your high productive hours for all of your top priority projects. Number four, tackle time consuming projects in stages. Number five, do not over schedule. Leave some time each day free from appointments. Number six, concentrate on one item at a time. Number seven, remember to take breaks, get up and stretch and move around. Number eight, 
establish a place for everything, store needed items that need to be filed away nearby. Number nine, keep paperwork moving. Number 10, put limits on visits to your place of work. Don't let others distract you. Number 11, remove from your desk all papers and other projects that you are not currently working on. And number 12, handle or touch each piece of paper only once. Lesson number five, embrace deadlines. Deadlines stop our procrastination. Deadlines motivate us to take action now. Plan out the task in step-by-step -step details. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Plan your work and work your plan. Every moment spent planning saves three or four in execution. Time to think right in ink. Don't just think it, ink it. Conversation, imagination. In order to want to avoid procrastination, remove the visual clutter that will cause you to dread doing a task that needs to be done. If the back seat of your car looks like a war zone because you let your kids drop food and wrappers all over it, then you will less likely be wanting to clean the back of your car any time soon. Lesson number six. Every to-do list you make helps you to plan your actions, which in turn helps you use your time wisely, which in the end determines the path your life will follow. The items on your to-do list tend to fall in one of two categories, maintenance or enrichment. Maintenance keeps your life running smoothly. Enrichment activities are those things you do by choice, not because you should do them. Enrichment helps you enjoy your life more. Learn to sandwich the joyful things you want to do in between the important things you have to do. Lesson number seven, enthusiasm creates energy. Write down on your to-do list joyful things that are important to you. When you connect with your priorities and act on them, you will be adding joy to a day previously filled with boring tasks and you will feel energized. It is the moment of decision that your destiny is shaped. Goals are dreams with a deadline. Strive for excellence, not perfection. And last of all, always remember Parkinson's Law, which states work expands to fill the period of time allotted for its completion. Closing thoughts. On a scale of one to five, I would give this Audible book a four for providing detailed instructions on how to stop procrastination. To find out more about this Audible book, go to www.audible.com and download this Audible book or Google Rita Emmett to find out more information about the author. Remember to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform so you do not miss an episode. And also remember to share this episode via text or email with friends and family and other people that you care about. For more episodes of the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development and a free, did I say free? Yes, free 30-day trial of Audible Plus, go to www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com to sign up today. If you would like to donate a dollar or more to the support of this podcast, click the donate button at www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com and I'll be sure to thank you on the next episode. Shout out to Linda for donating to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development. Thank you very, very much. This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week Sunday for the next episode and the next Audible book of over 300 books that I'll be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development. If you enjoy this podcast, take a moment to rate and review on Apple Podcasts. This really helps me out. Feel free to share this podcast with someone you care about. And remember, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.